Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get to the technical backpack in the Ash Canyon region. Crampons will also be found here. I'm starting off at the Mountaineer Hut in Timberwolf Mountain. The transition point to Ash Canyon is not too far from here and I wanted to make use of landmarks to guide the way, which hopefully makes it easier to follow along. It is quite a long journey, but well worth it. This is the way I prefer to get there, and there are places to stop along the way. I think it's easy to follow, and it avoids going up two rather long climbing ropes as well. So I am going to speed up the walking here, but I will point out a few things along the way that might be useful to know. For example, where bears or wolves might spawn, and where you can stop and stay along the way. So just over this hill you can see I'm being a bit cautious because there's often a bear walking around here. There's a bear cave just over there. So I was just checking to see if I could spot him, just to make sure I could avoid him. But yes, this normally there's a bear walking around here, so just watch out for that. When you get to this junction here, Echo Ravine, just make sure you take a left. As you can see on the map here, the transition point is not very far from the Mountaineer's Hut. At this first little splitting here, we just go to the left again. So here I'm coming up on one of the first kind of landmarks where you can stay, you can build a f uh, make a fire, etc, get your energy up or whatever you need to do. This is on the Bitter Marsh, uh, so it's a little broken down hut, but there is a stove here that you can use and a message, <laughs> which leads you to a memento hint if you like. And so from this point uh, we're going to continue basically straight on. So yeah, that's where the hut is, so we're going to just continue straight on from it. I will warn you that a little bit further on there can potentially be wolves, and a bit later on as well, but I'll mention that then. So yeah, as you can see there's a kind of mini waterfall, we're gonna stick to the right hand side of it and just follow up here. Now up here you can also definitely encounter wolves, so just watch out. So after getting past the wolves, well hopefully, <laughs> as you can see I was attacked, uh, you're gonna just follow this frozen lake and you'll come up to a hut here. This is called Angler's Den. Here is another point of interest or landmark where you can stay. There's uh, good loot here sometimes. Um, I would definitely recommend staying here to get your energy up before the next part of the journey. So once you've rested up a bit, or whatever you need to do, warm up, rest up, we're going to continue on going towards that waterfall that you can see right ahead of me there. And we're going to stick to the right side of it, there's a path upwards, and that goes underneath the waterfall and to an upper area there. Just a little note or hint if you you may have noticed this already and I am not encumbered right now but 
these little things that you have to climb up sometimes, you can climb these when you are encumbered, unlike a climbing rope. I do want to warn you that up here there are wolves. I got attacked by two in a row and I almost died. <laughs> um, and maybe I was being a bit dumb and not cautious enough looking out for them. I heard them howling here and I should have been a bit more aware. But yeah, I just want to warn you that these are definitely ones to look out for. Um, you don't want to die on your way up here. It wouldn't be good. So after that eventful moment, as you can see, there's a cave entrance down here, uh, which we need to go through. This will be another area where obviously you can stop in the cave, take shelter, uh, do what you need. cave there is a bit of an annoying part there's um, a waterfall flowing down which obviously when you go through as you may know um, yeah all your clothes will get wet you'll bit get freezing so what I normally do is <laughs> take off all my clothes so that you know you don't get your clothes wet and you can just put them back on after you've gone through the the waterfall there is I think a kind of trick you can do with a I'm not sure if it works with a torch or a lantern, I think I was trying it out here, where you can kind of place it on the other side of the waterfall so that it wouldn't go out. Obviously, if you walk through with a torch or a lantern, it they, it will turn off the light, of course. Um, oh, cool. I didn't quite <laughs> do it right here, so I just ignored the stupidness. Um, but yeah, I think, in theory, it can work. Um, but anyway, feel free to try that out yourselves. <laughs> So in this chamber you're going to see that there's kind of two ways you can go to two areas I'm going to go to the left. So you're going to arrive at this kind of chamber where there is a dead moose. Oh no, not moose. Deer. <laughs> Uh, there's a rope that you have to go up. Uh, here's a place I like to stop and recover a bit, especially now since I was attacked, like I really needed to get my health up again. But yeah, so here's a good place to stop if you need to. Once you're ready to go, you will have to climb the rope, which means you can't be encumbered, so just keep that in mind. At this little junction, we're just going to continue straight ahead. So once we are out of this cave, we're going to go to the left, just make sure you don't go over the edge here and make sure you walk along this kind of bridge, rock bridge over here. So in, in this part there aren't too many options in terms of the ways that you can take, so I'm just going to kind of let you follow along and not point out every left, right, etc. I apologize that it was quite foggy when I did this, um, but yeah, obviously I can't really control the weather in the long dark. <laughs> just want to point out one thing that at the end of this bridge you may come across or hopefully do come across a rope and you definitely are gonna need that so take it with you
So at this point we're really nearby the climbing rope that takes you down to the mining camp and to the gold mine. Uh, this cave is a good place to stay. So here is where you're going to need that rope um, because there isn't one already here. This is the climbing rope that goes down to the mining camp and where the entrance of the mine is. So again, definitely don't forget to take a rope with you. So of course, I also needed to rest up and get ready. Um, so here we are again. I'm about to go down the rope. That is the mining camp down there and that's where you'll find the entrance over there. So here we are at the entrance to the gold mine and this is where we're going to find the technical backpack and the crampons. In the mine obviously you're going to need some light um, but there are a few patches as well of uh, you know freezing water so if you want to you can take off your I guess shoes and socks to keep them dry if you prefer. Uh, there's some other loot in this ca uh, cage. <laughs> cave as well um, so yeah don't forget to have a look around but if you just follow along here you'll uh, see where you find the technical backpack but it's pretty hard to miss really I'm sure you'll find it anyway so here we are we have found the technical backpack and what are the advantages of this is it that it adds to your carrying capacity it gives you a permanent five kilo boost sorry i'm not sure what the pounds equivalent is um anyway it gives you <laughs> a five kilo boost to your overall weight permanently the backpack itself does not weigh anything you will also find those crampons here which obviously make rope climbing a lot easier for yourself uh, so they're always good to have too uh, there's also, as you can see, some other loot around here. You can stay in here, there's a bed, there's a fire barrel. Um, so yeah, definitely worth coming here. So just to show you here, um, as you can see, I have 15 kilos in extra weight capacity. And that is made up of being well fed, which gives you a 5 uh, kilo increase. I also have a moose satchel. God, sorry, I can't always, I can never say that word, which gives you five uh, kilos extra and of course the technical backpack now. So I have 15 kilos of extra uh, carrying capacity, which, you know, uh, if you know this game, that's really important and really useful. If you have finished the Buried Echoes Tale, you would have also picked up hopefully the Foreman's Tool Belt, which is another uh, thing great for weight as it reduces the weight of certain tools so I think it's like 50% of the weight uh, for three of the tools you have in your inventory so the hacksaw, the pry bar, the hammer etc hatchet um, so that also helps reduce your weight. In the Omega Bunker you should, could also pick up the uh, sorry I don't know the if <laughs> I don't remember the official name but the the gun holder basically which reduces the weight of your uh, rifle which is also helpful um, so yeah there's different ways to help with your carrying capacity overall but could yeah technical backpack useful. is definitely a good addition I hope this video has been helpful and easy to follow along with if you have any questions or anything like that just let me know in the comments and otherwise thanks for watching and see you in the next one